Hi everyone. You know, today I'm going to tell you a beautiful story, and this is the secret of Goddess Parvati. That why she killed herself in Daksha Yagya. Well, that time her name was not Parvati. Her name was Sati, and that is what I'm going to tell you. Why did she do that? So you know, once Lord Shiva and Parvati, they went to Agastyarishi's hermitage, and when Agastyarishi saw uh, Shiva and Parvati, he paid his respect and became very happy. And Lord Shiva and uh, Agastyarishi's main conversation was nothing but about the glory of Lord Rama, because they both are. Lord Shiva is the um, greatest devotee of Lord Rama, and Augusta Rishi was a devotee of Lord Rama. So when their conversation uh, was over, uh, Shiva and Parvati, meant Sati, they returned back to their abode. And the time when they were returning, by that time, Lord Rama was banished from Ayodhya, and he was roaming here and there. With uh, Lakshman and Sita, and when Sita was kidnapped, means when Lord Shiva and Parvati were coming back at that time, Sita was al also she was kidnapped by Ravan, and Rama was crying bitterly and searching for Sita everywhere, just going here, means roaming around here and there. Then, looking at his condition. Lord Shiva smiled. He thought himself, "He look, what a leader of Lord Rama." But as Lord Shiva was repeatedly, he was becoming too happy. Lord Goddess Parvati, means uh, Sati at that time, she was very much surprised, and uh, uh, she got some doubts. She thought that my husband is the Lord of this universe. And he knows everything. Everybody is hurt, and uh, if and repeatedly he is only thinking about Rama, 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 and if Rama is Lord Vishnu, then why did he is searching here and there? He knows very well where Sita is, and easily he could win over the uh, enemy and bring her back. What for he is crying? This type of doubt came to her mind. And as you know, Lord Shiva is, so he knows everything. So immediately, Shiva thought that Parvati is now, a uh, Parvati has become a victim to Vishnu Maya. Otherwise, this type of doubt would not come to her mind. And she immediately said, "Ki oh Parvati, if you have any doubt, then tell me, open it." Or you go yourself and why don't you taste it? Then she Parvati knew very well that Shiva knows everything, so she agreed and she came to taste Lord Rama. Once again, I am reminding you that time she was Sati, not Parvati. So Sati came to uh, taste Lord Rama's power, and while she was coming. By at exact that time, Lord Shiva thought that the result is not good. He thought and kept quiet. He said that I am sitting here under the banyan tree. You go, taste yourself, and come back. Then Sati went to taste Lord Rama. When she reached there, she took the. She thought that how will I taste? Then she thought, let me take the form of Sita. She took the form of Sita. And just walked in front of Lord Rama and Lakshman. And when Rama uh, was about to see her, she tried to hide herself. Now Lord Rama, first Lakshman, saw her. Then Lakshman thought, "What is this? Rama is not dead because Lakshman was also having some magical power, divine power. He was no other than a part of Lord Vishnu." So Lakshman thought. Ravan is not dead, and how come he had kidnapped Sita Maya? How this is Sita? This is something illusion. But he said nothing. 
now lord rama the moment he saw sati and in the guise of sita he immediately joined his palm and said oh mother means oh uh, sati i pay my regards i pay my uh, respect to you i am the son of dasaratha the way he said this and also he said ki oh mother oh, oh devi what for you are roaming here alone where is brusaketu means lord shiva sadar name was brusaketu why he is not uh, with you you should not roam around in the jungle alone go back to your husband when lord rama said this sati was stunned and uh, she was very much ashamed of her own uh, behavior now she took her own when she took the form of sati and uh, paying respect to lord rama she came back to see but while she was coming back she thought that god knows my husband was telling me repeatedly not to taste but i didn't believe him and i don't know what to eat the rage what will be the uh, repercussion she was very much hurt by many she got severe pain in her heart thinking her own behavior now as i told you lord shiva knew that parvati had become a victim of lord rama vishnu maya so when parvati came to lord shiva that time lord shiva said have you got it you tested him did you test him then uh, i'm sorry yeah huh? uh, did you test him then sati said ki o oh lord and that time also she didn't say everything she uh, just said ki yes i got it and uh, i saw that then lord shiva smiled he came to know that sati is hiding something she is telling lie but still then he didn't say anything now both of them silently worried at kailas there lord shiva said oh sati now i am doing my meditation under the tree you go and take rest na parvati went in mane sati went inside but her mind was not getting any peace because she was so much ashamed of her own uh, fault she was feeling guilty herself anyways she went inside and then many days after every time she was afraid and the behavior lord shiva had shown sati was in doubt that whether lord shiva would accept her anymore however when his meditation was over tapasya was over sati came to lord shiva but that time lord shiva said ki every time whenever sati was coming she was sitting on the left side of lord shiva but that time lord shiva said ki o sati sit in front of me he didn't accept her now sati was almost like her. mane living dead that means she was feeling as if she is already dead because she couldn't tolerate the separation from lord shiva she knew very well now she is she had confirmed that lord shiva will not accept her any more as she had taken the form of sita so she sat in front of lord shiva not in the left side of lord anyways a few days later uh, dakya prajapati performed a yagya and that time out of arrogance dakya prajapati called everyone all her siblings but not to sati neither to lord shiva he didn't invite them and as you know all the girls they want to go to their mother's house parents house so sati also uh, she was very uh, very much interested but she wa- wanted to go to her father's house then lord shiva said ki oh sati 
they have not invited you and uninvited if you'll go anybody's house that is not good so don't go but as sati repeatedly requested lord shiva to uh, give her permission lord shiva didn't say anything and sati went to her father's house he agreed and sati went to her father's house but when she uh, reached there she saw that all her siblings all her sisters all the gods were invited and even in yagyam they had all the gods had share but there was no share for lord shiva that killed her mind that uh, hurt her so much that she couldn't believe ki how her father could do this thing without giving a share even in yagyam his father even he didn't invite them he didn't keep any share for lord shiva while all other gods had some offering this way parvati felt very much insulted and uh, and uh, humiliated so that is why she uh, already thought when she was afraid that uh, uh, afraid of that shiva would not accept her that time only she prayed to lord rama ki oh lord help me just take my life kill me as quickly as possible so that once again i will be with my husband lord shri so now she got the chance and she was so much humiliated by others that she only because her husband was not uh, called not invited she felt very much insulted and she jumped into the yagya kunda and finished her life as you know after that she was born to himalay as parvati and then once again she got married to lord shiva returned back to her husband yes you know valmiki uh, ramayana ramacharita manasa and other whatever ramayan uh, ramayans are there the stories may differ uh, to some extent because somewhere i read that uh, sit uh, parvati i mean sati killed herself in yoga agni and now it is uh, said ki uh, she jumped into um, jagya kunda whatever it is just see and uh, just enjoy the story and once again whenever i will get some time i will tell you another story and remember one thing if somebody Uh, has not invited you never try to go there because uh, the thing is not the result is not good as you have seen the uh, consequence of mata sati thank you so much